best part of waking up is Holocron in your car. Hey there, Nomads of Lore. I'm Sean. And I'm Jonathan. And we are Mead and Mischief, your home away from no home. Some days. <laughs> some, some days. <laughs> I end other days, too. <clears throat> Today, this here one, we are going to be talking about Star Wars Clone Wars. Woo. One of the best children's TV shows ever. Uh, the animated series. Animated series, yeah. Not, not the, the movie. Yeah, the, the attack, not Attack of the Clones. We're mm-hmm. talking about that. We are talking about something that comes after that film. Or the Clone Wars. Isn't the there Clone a Clone Wars movie Yeah, as well? there is, which is not okay. that great. Anyway. But anyway, all of that to say, this is actually the second part of our of a series we're doing. We started the series way back. We're bringing it back. We'll put the first episode up in the iCard or the link to the playlist or, mm-hmm. or some such nonsense like that. Uh, we're going to be talking about season two of Clone Wars, and we're talking about our top three episodes, our favorite, mm. or at least, and we're not doing this in any particular order. One is first PSA, second PSA, is this is going to be sto- spoiler filled. Uh, we are going to be talking about details from the plot of mm-hmm. the episode, so if you don't want to be spoiled for season two of Clone Wars, if you're not caught up, mm. and you may want to go do that real yep. quick before you do, yep. do all those things. So Awesome. You ready? Let's go. Yep. Let's get started. So, for the first episode of our three episodes that we chose, it is called Children of the Force, and it's episode three of season two. Uh, this episode <coughs> excuse me, is kind of the culmination of a three-part episode arc, mm-hmm. arc yeah. with Cad Bane, yeah. who is a really cool, mm-hmm. really cool uh, villain in this series. Um he is kind of the he's kind of the early I, I was gonna kind of equate him to uh, our Mandalorian friend yeah uh, Boba Fett Boba Fett yeah he's kind of he's kind of like the a good version of Boba Fett I don't know he's he's a little different though he's a very I'd almost say he's like a cross between Boba Fett and Darth Maul almost like, oh yeah yeah. He's got, he's got that cool factor and that mystique or whatever, but he's also kind of kicked butt. Not lightsaber, of course. But yeah, he doesn't have any he's force. Quite but he's quite a strategist. What's, what's he's crazy. really freaking brilliant. Yeah, mm-hmm. what's really cool about him is that he can take on a uh, full fledged Jedi <laughs> fact, who has a lightsaber. Yeah, sometimes. who has a lightsaber and he has none of that and no special anything. He's, he's got a cool hat, though. <laughs> That's right. So, anyway, this is the culmination of that three part little episode series. And um, he has been. He's been under uh, Darth, Darth Sidious has been telling him that he needs mm-hmm. to go do several things. He's basically employed by him. Right. And this last uh, episode, he's supposed to go get some children. Actually, they think that Anakin thinks that he's gotten away at the very beginning of the episode, but then uh, they notice some blood on the on the the floor of the mm-hmm. ship, and then anyway, they realize he's with them. He's one of the clones. Yeah. Ends up getting away anyway in a ship and goes off. We and, mentioned he was brilliant. <laughs> yes, he is. Ends up getting away and goes and picks up some kids, some Force-sensitive kids, because mm-hmm. that's what was on the holocron that he's been looking for the first two episodes. Mm-hmm. Got that, and Sidious tells him, all right, use this list, go get some kids, and bring them to Mustafar. So he goes, and he gets some Force-sensitive kids, takes them to Mustafar, and then finally um, uh, 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 and, Anakin yeah. and Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan and... The Mace Windu, that's who I was looking for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mace Windu, hone in on him and try to get the information out of him, mm-hmm. kind of that, and try to figure out where these kids are at, try to save them. Um, and while this is going on, uh, Chancellor Palpatine, bad guy, Sidious, mm-hmm. is uh, planning to use them to make his own little Sith army of mm-hmm. destroyers. And so, anyway, they figure out how to get him. And, or they pretty, figure out how to get that information. Pretty ominous arc with a super cool bad guy yeah. and yeah. everything else. I'm going into way too much detail, but anyway, it's a <laughs> really he's a he's a really cool bad guy. Yeah. And so the the he's a worthy adversary for these Jedi, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and just kind of one of the one of several villains in this in this series that are really good. 
Um, it kind of shows uh, a little bit in this uh, episode. It shows a little bit of the Anakin and Palpatine relationship starting mm-hmm. to build a little bit more. Kind of what you miss between episode two and episode three of yeah. the movies. So all of this to say, Cad Bane is an awesome, awesome bad guy. We wanted to feature him because he's one of our favorites. And so really any of these, one episode one, two, and three, we kind of, of this season, we kind of wanted to talk about him. So that's our number one episode, episode three. Hey, again, these are not in any particular order. These are not like ranked order. Uh, the next episode that we wanted to feature is The Deserter, episode mm. 10 from season two. This, that, um... Uh, once we start in Clone Wars, kind of focusing more on the clones, there's a lot of really interesting things that go on. This is this is one of the better clone ideas and concepts episodes in in the show. Um, so in this, this is actually the culmination of a two two episode arc where Obi Wan is chasing Grievous. He's got him on the ropes. He's trying to trying to track him down and capture him or or take him out or or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so they they end up tracking him to a planet called Salukamai. And Grievous's ship is is broken and it's 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 crashed. I think it was crashed. I don't know, but it's it's broken. It's yeah. like, and his he doesn't have a way to contact off planet. And so he doesn't have any reinforcements. He's trying to get he's trying to escape Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan is tracking him uh, along with Rex and and some other other clones. And so they're trying to get him and he's he's trying to not get got and <laughs> excuse me. Then Rex and and the clones they're out and they get Rex gets shot by a sniper. And uh, so he, he gets, and he's injured fairly seriously. He's, he's shot in his, in his armor, on his, in his chest plate or whatever. And so he, he kind of gets, take, they get taken in by a Twi'lek female. And, she's, and she, she, she takes them in at gunpoint. <laughs> uh, she's, she's quite the sniper. And she says, okay, we've got some um, cots or something in the back. You can go oh, lie down. And then... And so they do. They go and they tend to Rex, and they work on trying to get him better, and and probably had some back to packs or something. I don't really remember. But anyway, they're, they're working on him because he's injured, and and uh, then they wake up and they discover a clone. And so Rex is like, okay, what's your what's your number? You know, what's your what's your clone number? And and he won't give him a number. He says, my name is Cut. Law, not Lawrence, something I don't even remember. Um, uh, something. Anyway, they, he he only give him a name. And he he says, you know that no, I'm I'm not a number. I'm a name. And I have uh, a name. Cut Laquane. Laquane, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what that's what's written there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he and so Rex says, uh, you're a deserter, and we got to take you in. And he says, no, I'm not a deserter. I'm just a I'm just a family man. I have a I have a wife and kids, and and I. I, you're, you're not going to take me in. And so it's, and so the interesting quandary there is dealing with, okay, these clones with this, this episode, there are lots of episodes that do this. This episode does a very good job of humanizing the clones mm-hmm. further. And it, it brings up a, some interesting moral quandaries there. Uh, the, the, the movies did a terrible job. Oh yeah. That. Well, yeah. Or a no job. No like, job. yeah, they don't, they don't deal with the clones like at all. Um, it, you know, it, it starts to take a look at, okay, well, if these, these clones, they're, they're fully human. They, if they were, they were bred and they were conscripted for a, for being soldiers. Right. And so do they have free, I mean, they have free will, but do they, are they, are they free to, to choose to, Leave. Should they be free? Should That's they be? The and moral. Yeah. 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 And and looking at all of those very adult ideas. Mm-hmm. And, we, you know, we, we keep going back to that on, you know, on this show and on Rebels and Avatar and all these shows. The best, absolute best kids shows are ones that go deeper and look at deeper concepts. And, and, and I'm not just talking about stupid over the head jokes like SpongeBob and stuff yeah. like, you know, I'm not even talking about that because that doesn't make a, a high quality show. That just makes the, it to where the adults don't mind watching. Yeah. These where we start looking at adult ideas and concepts and, and things and all kinds of interesting stuff like this. This is what really, really elevates some of these shows. Sometimes even better than shows that are actually made for adults. So, mm-hmm. super great episode. Yep. Easily one of the best. Yep. 
our third and final episode that we wanted to feature in this episode of episodes <laughs> yep uh episodes of, th- of season two of yep. the clone wars all right third and final episode is uh voyage of temptation and this episode heavily features um it, for those of you that have only watched mandalore bo katan's older sister duchess satine who is a love love uh interest of obi-wan kenobi mm-hmm. And then Anakin Skywalker and the, guys and don't have attachments. Yeah, exactly. So, and what the reason we wanted to feature this episode is because we really like the com, the comparison and contrast between mm-hmm. their relationship, Duchess Satine and Obi Wan, and Anakin and Padme's relationship. Mm-hmm. And there's not like a, any of their relationship really in this episode, but it, this episode shows a lot of a proper relationship and and. How you know? Well, and the struggle well, too. Yeah, the struggle to uh, have a relationship, I guess. Yeah, and or, whether or not to, or what, whether whether, whether it's, it's good the right or, thing yeah, to do. Yeah, exactly. And then all, and then versus you know what ended up happening with Padme and and uh, Anakin. Mm-hmm. So this episode is basically um, there's a I can't remember the guy's name. What's his name? Uh, Merrick. Merrick. Yep. There's a guy. Duchess Satine is having a, a get together with a bunch of senators or something, and. This guy kind of comes in and he's acting like he's one of them, I think, and then comes out and he's actually trying to to capture Duchess Satine. So he rigs the ship with explosives, grabs her, tries to get away, and of course uh, Obi Wan is trying to stop him from getting away. And at one point, there there's a lot of things said between her and Obi Wan, and she's talking about how she she loves him and she was ready to leave. Her responsibilities behind, and he was ready to leave his responsibilities behind, and all the stuff. And Merrick's annoyed as all get out, you know, because he's like, "I don't care. I'm just trying to get her <laughs> out of here." And uh, anyway, she ends up uh, getting away from him, grabbing his his gun somehow, and then he points out to them that neither one of them are going to kill him, and starts jarring at them because if if Obi Wan kills him, then she won't love him anymore because because he killed a man in front of her. And if he he won't she won't kill him because that's that's not right that's not what she does, mm. and then of course who has to come in and kill, and who furthers there anyway? It's I think it's one of the the coolest and first kind of treks down the road to Anakin mm-hmm. becoming Darth Vader mm-hmm. because he kills him and and it's pretty much I mean there's some other times I guess that you could say he does in cold blood but this one is he's one he's first. completely unarmed. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, you know, he definitely was not a good guy and probably yeah. deserved it. But anyway, this is a very, very interesting, well, very that, interesting that, episode. That Anakin's slow descent, fall, descent mm-hmm. into Vader is is one of the best, for, for Star Wars fans in particular, yeah. uh, obviously, but is, is one of the best things about Clone Wars. Because, yeah. as you know, if you've only seen the films, mm-hmm. uh, which if you have, you know, Spoiler warning. <laughs> <laughs> or if you uh, haven't seen yeah, the third or, film. Or something. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, in the films, you know, you, you get this this super jarring transition yeah. from Attack of the Clones to um, yeah. Revenge of Revenge the Sith. Of the Sith yeah. And you just, it's just super jarring and it's it doesn't work Anakin well. doesn't, he doesn't fit because he's no. this loving, like, kind of teenage boy who's in love with this girl and... He's fine, and, and to, he's been raised by yes. these this really good, you know, Obi Wan, and mm-hmm. and it seems like everything's fine, and then all of a sudden there's a shift into, oh, he's been. But if you watch Clone Wars, yes. it's the episodes, you, you know that Sidious has been back here this whole time, oh, yeah. just kind of interjecting and trying to drag Anakin away mm-hmm. to show him his side of things. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. Super yeah. interesting. Super cool stuff. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. Yep. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite season two of Clone Wars episode, yep. or if you haven't seen it yet, what you like, what, what, I don't know, something great about Star Wars. <laughs> put put something, let us know how we're doing. That's right. Let us know what else you would like for us to talk about, whether it's Star Wars or, or something else. Mm-hmm. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We enjoy hanging out with y'all. We hope y'all enjoy this as well. And we'll see you later. Adios. Do not, Sean. <laughs> what love got to do with... Okay. Bring Cadbane. I'll kill you.
Let's see Cut that. Let's see him do it. Do it. Holocron <laughs> girl. Ain't no holocron girl. Holocrons. You know, she's kind of had. L O C R O N S. Ain't no holocron girl. Ain't no holocron girl. Few times have been around the galaxy. Billboard Top 100. Here we 